All right, I'm Jim Calvino with the uh, Chicago's Police Sergeants Association. I'd like to thank uh, Vice President Danielle Barnes for setting this uh, PowerPoint up. She did an excellent job on it. It's pretty much self-explanatory, but uh, I'll go over some uh, highlights with you. The first would be the age and retirement. With our new contract that's in place now, for those retiring at the age of 55 to 59, you're gonna pay 3.5% of your annuity for the insurance. You have to give 30 days notice that you're gonna retire, and you can't go before May 1st of the, uh, of the year. For those 60 to 62, you're not gonna pay 1.5% of your annuity, and you can go at any time of the year without any notice. And of course, 63 and out is still free. If uh, you're going out underneath the old contract, you're at 2% for 55 to 59, and 60 and up is still free. Um, but if you didn't put your power in, if you're 55 to 59, you missed out on the, uh, the time on that. The next one is the, uh, the payout. With taking the insurance uh, in retirement, you have to get your payout, payout in four separate years. The first year will be the, uh, the first March of your following retirement. That will give you the, uh, the numbers on here. You're gonna get 20,000 20, the first year, 15,000 the second, and a third of the remaining. The second year, will be another 15,000 and half of the remaining. The final year, you're gonna get whatever's left in the, uh, the bank account for you. Right here, there's a bunch of uh, bullet points. I think the highest one would be the BIA. They are not gonna tell you if you have anything if you just call them. They, they stopped that a little while ago. Um, HR used to do it, they don't do it no more. So what we have been advised to do is if you want to find out if you have any op open numbers or anything that's going to hamper your retirement with your credentials, is do a FOIA on yourself and actually go down to the uh, 35th Street and BIA and request your disciplinary history. Request also any open numbers you have. If that's denied, then you know you have an open number. So you then want to make sure you get a hold of BIA, write them a two from, and try and get your uh, case resolved before your retirement date. Um, because once you retire with an open number, they can hold your credentials. Uh, stop down at the, uh, the pension board website. There's a bunch of information they're gonna need you to get. Uh, fill that all out, your uh, dependencies, birth certificates, marriage certificates, they're gonna need all that stuff. The, uh, the next one's gonna do after you submit the PAR. Uh, again, it's pretty much self-explanatory. Danielle did a great job on it. Uh, I don't really see anything uh, a major on this one that you guys would have questions on. The, uh, the one is the life insurance. We get calls in the office. You can't keep your life insurance that you currently have, but you will have to pay the full amount for it in retirement. Uh, to be made a member of our association, you're a lifetime member. Once you retire, all you got to do is make sure you keep up your address and phone number so we can get a hold of you. Uh, if you want to throw an email, that's even better for us. All right, again, this uh, is some stuff for your children when you retire with the insurance. They get kicked off at the age of 26. You gotta give uh, the benefits office, their social security, the birth certificates. Uh, again, I already told you about our membership. The PBPA membership is with the, uh, the state. You have to have 20 years as a dues paying member. Um, if you don't have all the, the, uh, the years and you can buy the remaining years at $24 a year to make up. They give you a death benefit. Uh, it starts out at $1,000 for anybody below 70 years old. 70 and up is 500. If you're under 70 and it's accidental, it's 2,000. If it's a line of duty death, it's 3,000. And uh, as you see, FOP remains uh, 65 bucks a year if you want to do it when you retire, but you have to do it before you retire. They won't allow it after you retire. You got some stuff on here for the IROC. Make sure you do that. Uh, Make sure your, your credentials, first of all, that's why you want to make sure at BIA that you have no open numbers because they can hold it for you. I'll give you a couple of seconds to read all that stuff. Your uh, Blue Cross Blue Shield or the HMO cards. If you have an uh, appointment or anything right after retire, it's probably going to get denied when they go to payment because they're going to be using the wrong number. It takes about a month, month and a half to get your uh, new numbers so that your doctors know or your uh, hospital know that when they submit the bill, it will most likely be denied, but they have to give it underneath the new number and it will get paid. You're still covered. Okay. Here's a bunch of phone numbers for you guys. The, uh, 
pension board nationwide. You got to give them a call, let them know you're retiring. Um, you can also ask about the, uh, the first uh, payment when you retire, how much you want to defer right away. There's our state, which is the uh, Illinois Policemen's Bene uh, Benevolent and Protective Association. You want to give them a call to find out how many years you have as a due paying member. And then HR, Central Time Keep, you want to give them a call to make sure that they have the proper amount of time on there. Um, sometimes they have you in the wrong pay grade, a step raise, or you're missing time. And again, there's our personal information. Uh, any questions or anything like that, I know I went kind of fast. Um, please give us a call. It's a lot easier to talk one-on-one -on -one for specifics. Uh, the phone number there is 773-376-7272. Thank you guys and enjoy your retirement.